Welcome to the jungle. Bienvenidos Santa Elena. We are in the Amazon. We're deeper in the Amazon. And uh, we hope, hope, we're gonna get to show you guys some animals out here. So let's go. There's one here. Good news, everybody. It's gonna work out. We are at the beautiful place of Santa Elena. We understood some of our introduction, but tomorrow morning at six o'clock in the morning to see the most animals possible, me and Kurt and a guide and all of our camera gear will be going out on one of these boats. So you can do two hours, four hours, or six hours. You guys know that we love animals. We're going for the six hours. Oh, look at this, guys. I have a buddy. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? Did you come to see what's going on over here? Yeah? Hi. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. He is on me. Yes, he is. <laughs> he is trying to take my sunglasses. Holy cow. I can't believe he jumped on my shoulder. I can't believe that. What's your name? Do you have a name? Oh my gosh. He's back on me. He's back on me. He makes the cutest little chirping sound. Oh. Kurt, look at this. <laughs> he just jumped on me. All right. Okay. Snow, no, you can't. Snow's, Snow's got it? a new friend. So. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Are you filming this? Yeah. Okay, come on out, buddy. Are you going? Okay. <laughs> His little feet tickle, don't they, Kurt? Yeah. Oh. He's like, I'll be your buddy. <laughs> All right, sorry if things got a little crazy there. But at first, I just saw this cute little monkey, and then apparently he really wanted to be my friend. So he completely distracted the vlog about the, the river tour we're taking tomorrow. But uh, to say I am excited, huge understatement, huge. Well, and my monkey friend is back. He's right here behind us. So there's that. <laughs> now that we have ditched our little monkey friend, stop. <laughs> We want to tell you that we are excited to be working with Omaze to offer you the chance to win an Airstream Caravelle 20 FB and a Ram 1500 Limited pickup truck, all while supporting a great cause, the Mutt Nation Foundation. We know that the freedom of traveling in a tiny house on wheels has had an amazing impact on our lives. It's completely changed it for the better. So whether you want to be a traveling crazy road warrior like us, or if you're just looking for some exciting adventurous weekends closer to home, the Airstream Caravelle 20 FB is the perfect way to hit the road for your next great adventure. And get this, it comes with all the perks packed into one sleek silver package, including memory foam mattress, premium kitchen appliances, a modern bathroom, and so much more. Now, when you enter for a chance to win this amazing experience, your donation will benefit Mutt Nation. This is an amazing charity founded by award-winning country artist, Miranda Lambert and her mom. Yeah. The mission of this foundation is to support shelters around the country with the goal of finding a forever home for every shelter animal. That's a good goal. For your chance to win an Airstream and, and a Ram 1500 limited truck, go to omaze.com slash snowkurt and enter now. And remember, 
All donations support the amazing work of Mutt Nation. Yeah. Alright, back to the video. So our tour, a six hour private tour for both of us in the canoes tomorrow up the river it includes parking here tonight 50 US dollars give or take a little bit 200 souls so we're super stoked but to give you a hint I'm already packed for tomorrow and even laid out my clothes six o'clock in the morning we'll be crawling in one of those canoes all right so snow's little buddy followed us home home to the van so we were at that other camp spot and those little apples were falling on the solar and apparently one made the trip and he's ran over there and got it he's sitting up there next to the attic i hope he doesn't get in the attic he probably could if he wanted to the cats are going crazy this is when it's really good about our screen door we're getting attacked by the monkey Oh, right, he's buddy. curious. Alright. Gee, has spotted him. Nanner hears him. Okay, buddy. He's a friend. Is that him? Yeah. The cats are going crazy. Let me show you the kitties. They are absolutely going nuts. <laughs> no, Nana. Go on, baby. No, man. <laughs> She's locked on. She ain't letting go. You got to lift it up. There you go. I'm not climbing on the screen. Good morning. Bright and early. A few minutes after 6 o'clock. There is a little bit of sprinkle, but one of the guides told me that maybe just for an hour or less and then it should be fine. Which goes with what we've been experiencing. We wake up to the ground wet every morning. But it's time to get in these boats and go see if we can find some animals. All right, there is a bright rainbow covering our whole area where we're going to be in the boat today. I'm calling that a good sign. All right, we're starting our trip here. Ah, there it is right there on the Rio Romero. And of course, we're in the thick of the Amazon and we should be moving up the river quite a bit. Actually, we're gonna cover three rivers today. There's a lot of different animals on the board. He did say this is not the best weather for the animales, so we'll see what's up. See the trees moving. Oh, there he is. Look at him. You see him, Kurt? Two of them. There's one down three, below. three, yeah. <laughs> There's one right there. Look at him. Monkeys. Monkeys everywhere. 
So we just got a beautiful look at the little capuchin monkeys and there was a bunch of them. There were some uh, really close to us in the trees by the river and then there was some back up the way in the forest. But they were playful and they were running down grabbing the little fruits off the tree so they were moving so fast. They would just grab a fruit and then go, grab another fruit and then go. And uh, I think we can both agree we love watching the monkeys just run around and play. Up there in the trees is a tiny, tiny little monkey. Oh, baby. Oh. See, yeah, baby on its back. Oh. <laughs> monkeys everywhere again. Our guide Maria spotted a sloth. He was sleeping, but I think our sounds probably woke him up and he's gonna climb a little up in the tree. He took a step, so now he has to rest. <laughs> We've passed a few of these trees, but look at that. Roots grow down from the limbs, down into the water, and it's huge. So, so far we've spotted two batches of monkeys, three different kinds of monkeys, and a sloth. <laughs> More monos. <laughs> they're so cute and there's so many. We're doing our best to video this in a way to show you just how deep out in the jungle we are. Some of these trees have massive root systems. We can only hope it comes through in the video. Like that one right there. Wow. 
now. It's amazing, isn't it, Kurt? All right, so we just came into another river and they are touting it, the river of two, or where the, there's two colors here. And the river we came up was so black and clear, crystal clear, you could see the bottom the whole way. This one has a little more silt in it. It's a little more gray. You can see where the water colors just come together. The black clear water dumps into the more gray water. Merging with the third river, the Rio Mayo, this and it got bigger <laughs> and muddier. So now yes. we have two colors again. It went from clear to muddy to muddier. <laughs> so it's time to turn around. We made it to the third river, but we're turning around in this uh, little laguna that's right off the river, spotting a few little lake birds. We've seen these black monkeys three times now. And all three times, we haven't been able to get them on video. They're so quick, and they run pretty, oh, there's one up there. See, yeah, you see. Maybe we'll get this one. On our way back to the dock, we have found red howler monkeys. It is muy difficile, very difficult to vi video them because of all the trees. We are trying, I promise, we're trying. More bad news, guys. We just watched a red howler eating. I don't think we're gonna be able to get it on video. The Amazon is wonderful, but it is very hard to video in, isn't it, Kurt? Oh, he just jumped. Oh, God. We have made it back to the launching point, which is also our van. Holy moly. Early bird gets the worm, guys. Now, as we leave here, if you'll look behind us, you'll see a lot of people here. It's another advantage to traveling in a van. You're always the first one here. You meet the crowds. Beat the crowds, not meet them. You beat the crowds. But look out here at all these tour vans. Our van fits right in. Look at that. <laughs> Morning, everyone. Our time here in the Peruvian Amazon is winding down. You know, yesterday we went on the riverboat ride. Today we came back to this same Villa Maria that we stayed at and absolutely, hi, how are you? 
and absolutely love this place. But we're on the road today, but I don't think I showed you around. So I wanted to show you this place. So we ended up parking up here in a combination of two places where the water apples would drop on the van and over there where we could get some solar. So it was a combination of both where we saw the monkeys, but you can see this is a place where families come to relax and hang out. They've got a really nice restaurant, which I gotta show you out back the view. We've eaten there multiple times, it's so good. There are so many birds and animals just walking around, peacocks, geese, all sorts of stuff. So that's been super cool. We have these big lakes and one thing that I didn't know I love and that I've learned that I love through all these Amazon trips is this black water, especially the still black water with the reflection and you get these palm trees around it and these big Amazon fish in there and it is just really pretty to watch. They also have a pool area which is kind of nice. And then they have uh, showers. Uh, there's multiple bathrooms throughout, so we're able to use that. It was 10 souls per day or per night for both of us. So 10 souls is about between three and four dollars, I think. And that include the use of all the facilities. The meals were reasonably priced. So, and the staff was amazing. We got our laundry done here. Uh, for a nice propina. So honestly, guys, this place has been really, really nice to us. I met the uh, owner's daughter. She was cool. Just everybody has been nice and really enjoyed the time in the Amazon. For me, it's never enough hanging out underneath the monkeys and listening to the birds, but it's starting to sprinkle. Not good, because today is moving day, and we're about to get on the road. Nanner, you're not on the dash. It's moving day. It is a big moving day. We're headed to somewhere super exciting where I'm going to try something really big. Right, Kurt? <laughs> Snow setting records, breaking them all the time. And it's not cooey. Don't worry. But... We have a four hour and nine minute drive, which as y'all know, could turn into five or six hours in the van Next left if everything goes well, but it's gonna be a pretty drive, so let's go. The GPS says we'll arrive at 1240. Of course, we'll probably stop for a quick lunch bite somewhere, so we'll call that one o'clock. And then when we get there, we're gonna see how far off the Google is and we're driving in the rain. I hope this ends before we get to the mountains. I think in the past video or two, we have definitely shown y'all that at least in this part of Peru, the main form of transportation is these moto taxis. And I think we've showed you that they're a bit crazy, but one thing they do that's a little bit funny, to us anyway, is the ones that don't have the hard fronts, the fancier windshields, the ones that are open, when it rains, they literally have these little tarp contraptions that they put over the steering wheel and their legs and just their head pops out of the top. So they have a raincoat for themselves when they're in these moto taxis. I hope these things continue because I think they're kind of fun to watch. We're climbing back up into the mountains. And this uh, seems to be a coffee farming region and some of the little villages or towns that we go through, we've made it back to the super humble housing. They're definitely a hardworking culture out here. And uh, just like always, when you see the little kids, they're out in the road playing. So we'll climb through these, through these mountains. On the other side, we get to our next destination. So far, the Google lady hasn't lost any time. We're still doing pretty good. It's probably Kurt's crazy driving. Heading out on our own with our hope in the clouds. And we're starting to see that we're on to something. Feel it coming. We'll keep running. Nothing in our way. And we got no reason to wait. Let the journey take you where it wants to. We'll come. 
to go until we get to the small little town where we hope we can find a campsite. We're almost to the little town and Kurt for the first time spotted why we're here. Holy cow! <laughs> now, guys, That's insane! We, um, we're not going to show it to you though. You guys are going to have to wait till the next episode to see our campsite and see wow. what we are trying to get ourselves into. It's insane. See you guys in a few days. Cheers. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys. <laughs>